What's up everyone, my name is Aditya and welcome to HD Tech and guys it is 2021 and majority amount of people want to buy the iPhone 12 light up or the iPhone 11 but the major question is that is the 128 GB iPhone sufficient for a long usage? Well guys in this video I am going to be discussing all of the factors why you should buy the 128 GB variant and all of the precautions or all of the solutions for your problem. Suppose if you end up spending or you know filling all of your storage and what are the other alternatives so that you can get additional storage so guys before starting today's video there is a very sincere request and that is please consider subscribing to my channel because it motivates me a lot to make more of this kind of videos so guys without any further ado let's get to the first factor so first of all you have to ask two questions for yourself the first question is that for how long you are planning to use your iPhone because for the majority amount of iPhone buyers they minimum use their iPhone for two years and on the other hand there is that majority amount of people who take 100 photos a day and there is also that group of people who hardly take one photo per day so it is a kind of a confusing situation because no user knows that how much storage do does he require in reality because there are people who buy 64 GB storage iPhone and later they regret it and on the other hand there are people that that per those purchase the 512 GB iPhone and only spend like 128 gigabytes of the entire storage so in both of the situation you kind of regret buying that particular storage option and currently we are living in 2021 so many people still use all of the physical storage there are majority amount of people who are scared to upload their personal data on a cloud based subscription well guess if you have no problem using the cloud data then you can even buy the iCloud subscription but guys Apple's iCloud subscription is the additional expense well guys initially you only get 5 gigabytes of free iCloud storage but in reality it is not even sufficient to take your iPhone's entire backup so in reality it is of no use and if you want to buy the additional cloud data then you have to purchase it but for the majority amount of people who don't want to pay additional amount for online storage then you can apply my kind of technique well guys every single person is at least having two gmail accounts so with every single gmail account you get 15 gigabytes of free cloud storage so once you occupy the entire 128 gb of internal storage then slowly you can start uploading all of your photos on google cloud and once you get finished or once you surpass the 15 gb limit then you can use your another gmail id and guess this particular technique is very much beneficial well with every single iphone you're only getting the physical storage so there is no option to add any micro sd card and on the other hand if you look like companies like sandisk are having their version of a portable pen drive so it is having a lightning connector so you can easily plug it in and transfer all of your storage into the pen drive but i personally feel that it is of no use because first of all you will have to carry your pen drive everywhere where you go so it is an annoying situation whereas on the other hand the cloud storage is definitely the future of smartphones so in 2021 i will not recommend you to buy any iphone more than 128 gigabytes because for the most of it all of your photos can be stored on the google cloud well guess even if you are getting the 64 gb iphone for way less price point then go for it because even if you feel that the storage is insufficient then you can have all of your backup on your computer or even on the iCloud or on Google Cloud. So guys with the help of this video I wanted to tell you that having a 128 GB of storage is more than sufficient in 2021. So feel free to buy your new iPhone in 128 GB storage option. Well guys even if you go for the 64 GB you will be pretty much satisfied. Well guys for the most of it I will request you to start using the cloud based subscription. Either you can purchase the iCloud subscription or else you can use the Google Cloud. So that's it for this particular video and guys please don't forget to subscribe to my channel because it gives me the motivation to make more of this kind of videos. So guys I will meet you with another beautiful video and till then peace.